We're gonna bone out a couple turkeys. Um, I have you actually turned it on? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Never yeah. used it before. Uh, we're gonna get into this packaging. If you buy a frozen turkey, you need to have it out of the fridge in enough time. Sorry, out of the freezer in enough time for it to um, thaw completely. Obviously, you don't want to hurt yourself when you're doing something like this. Um, if you can put it in the fridge, you need about three days for it to thaw properly. If you are being a cowboy and you do it in your sink, two is probably good. Right, let's see here. So I've got them out of here. I'm just going to check for gizzards and a turkey neck. And right away, these the turkey neck is going to go on the bone for um, meaty bits. Ugh, ice. We pulled this, what day is it? Monday, we pulled this five days ago and there's still ice in the middle. And then these gizzards I'm gonna put on the stock tray. Alright, and I'll lift it up to get any extra excess liquid out of there. Um, take these little wing tips. Uh, there's almost nothing in them, so we'll pop them out a joint and then cut all the tendons around them and put that on our stock tray. Stock tray. Okay. You should you should hear snapping as it comes out of joint, but you shouldn't hear breaking. You shouldn't break the bone. Um, obviously it's dead, there's no humane reasons, but you don't want bone shards really anywhere. They're sharp, they can cut you, as well as the more shards you have, the cloudier the stock you might get because you have more of the marrow stuff exposed. Chicken birds isn't as pleasant as it is in um, dead meat. So. We're gonna cut this whole guy in half so that we can get to the two parts we're cutting off pretty easily. Um, we got legs, we got the breasts. Uh, you can see here along the legs, there's a thin seam of skin. We're gonna cut along that. We want as much skin as we can for the thigh, and for the leg, because when we um, wrap it up, it's what help keeps all the meat together. We're gonna start by cutting along here. And it's just how I debone a turkey. Anyone can do it any different way. Okay. I'll just cut along here. Make sure that guy's pretty well released. Do the same thing on the other side. I want as much fat as I can for the legs. Okay. Now at this point, I'm gonna pop their hips out of joint. hips are out of joint just slightly. I'm gonna come in along here and there's more of this nice bit here. And I'm just gonna kind of pull them apart from this point. I mean, again, I'm gonna try to give myself as much skin as possible on the leg and thigh and just cut through here. So I'll put this guy aside for later. And let's get started with the breasts. Just double check, sometimes they hide gizzards up here and giblets. Nope, nothing. Check along here, there's a very clear breastbone. We're gonna cut along either side of the breastbone. First one slit down the middle, just to get through the skin, and then we're gonna cut actually through some stuff here. Make sure your boning knife is quite sharp because the boning knife is doing most of the work. I'm really just pulling it apart. Uh, you want to keep your fingers clear as well, but obviously your fingers have a functional part of taking apart an animal when you're boning it out, when you're deboning it. So as you can see, I'm scraping along the actual membrane and the bone there to get as much meat as possible. Okay, should get easier as I go. Guy. 
any of this fat that you trim off is fantastic for your stock, so please do roast it off with your bones. It's like um, dressing a chicken, really big chicken. It's very similar. Um, the differences are more in the strength, not so much the structure, but the strength of the actual cartilage and the bones. A turkey cartilage is so much stronger than a chicken cartilage. Chicken is like no effort at all. So this is pretty clean. It's not the cleanest I've done. Looks pretty good though. We're getting in to the nubs here. And the same sort of thing, we're gonna pop this out of joint. And then we're gonna cut along that. All the meat we can get we want. There is a shoulder blade here. So um, just kinda be careful to cut around it. Okay. See connective tissue and tendons here. Just gonna cut through all those. Good. We'll put this guy aside for later and I'll show you how I'll clean this one up. So there's no, just make a quick feel for any bone shards. And then none I see, so I'm just gonna cut out the actual drumette here. And this part's gonna be roasted with my bones. I'm gonna take off all the meat from these and put it in my gravy. Do you wanna pause it? All right, so we've got the breast off. I'll address the other one later, it's no big deal. Um, and now we're on the bottom half. Uh, what we're gonna do first is flip him over. You can see with his legs spread out that there's two muscles right here. Um, they're often called the oyster or the nugget. It's a very nice tasty piece of meat that's not worked too hard, so it's not very tough. Uh, what you wanna do to make sure you get that is do a slit here and do a bit across around here. So what you're gonna do is cut around, um, it's a bone shaped like this with the muscle sitting inside. You're gonna cut the muscle out of that bone. So we've got our guiding cuts there. I'm gonna pop them out of socket again. Oh, actually, maybe not doing this way. Pop them out of socket. From here, I'm gonna start, you wanna see here, cutting along here. I want as much meat as I can, so I'm cutting right up against the bone. Careful not to cut into the bone. see I've totally popped the bone out of the joint which means I don't have to cut through anything rough except for cartilage which isn't that rough at all. I want as much fat as possible for trussing and now I'm there where my nice piece of meat is. So take a look right here I'm right in the middle so this is the ridge where that meat starts I just got to get to him. There he is. So this is the oyster or the nugget. It's a nice piece of meat. Okay. So a nice curved bone that I took the meat out of. And I've got it all right there so I didn't lose any of it. It's a really nice piece of meat. Now I'm going to do my absolute least favorite part boning out the legs. Um, you can see he's got a joint right here. This is the knee. Uh, yes, even turkeys have kneecaps. You want to make sure you've got him there. You're going to do a slit along the first leg, along the first bone, sorry, and a slit along the second bone. Your tip of your knife should make contact with the bone be able to see it fairly easily. What you want to do is kind of start cutting around on both ends. So right in here is where all the cartilage connecting to the, the um, um, sorry, kneecap is. Uh, there's no easy way to get it, so we're just going to cut around it. Same thing on this side, we want to cut around the bone, make contact with the bone and slowly clean away. It's easier if you get this bone released first and then you can work towards the second bone. It 
if you're going to scrape down a bone, you're going to have your knife, your blade towards you, but your knife angled down, you're just going to gently scrape the bone. What purpose this does serve is, yes, those little bits and pieces of meat are actually going to help coagulate your whole loaf there. So it is really important that you keep as much as you can. All right, right around here, we can see where the kneecap is. We've cleaned up the side a little bit. I'm gonna clean up from here. Not as neat because uh, the cartilage starts to get really thick. Okay. You can start cutting around it. You can see right here, the separating bone, kneecap. I don't want the kneecap. Feel it. Now the thing about getting rid of the kneecap, which is right here, see it does its job, is it leaves a big hole in the meat, which is why you wanted your skin, because that's going to help tie it all together. Second least favorite part, you'll see my least favorite in a minute. Okay. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna call this guy officially free here and I can just scrape down this bone as best as I can. Okay. You think you're done, but you're never done with turkey. these difficult cartilages or pull them out if you are lucky enough. When, if you ever put a knife towards you, you're being careful and you're being gentle. You're never being rough. Okay, so we've got this beautiful piece of meat right here. Totally intact skin for tying it, which is fantastic. Only all of these bits. It's not like a chicken. It's really rough and uh, it's not really edible. So this is where I hate it the most, especially when you're doing like 13 turkeys, is you need to get these out of here. And uh, just try to scrape them as best as you can until they're no longer an issue. And I'll do a few more and then I'll show you how to tie it. <laughs> 